These are three apex predators that don't attack humans. Number three. Now, if you look at orcas, you'll see that they're the second most widespread predators living on this planet, with us humans being the first. They're also known as killer whales from back then when sailors observed them hunting giant whales. They hunt in the ocean and they adapt to climate so well that they've been spotted hunting in the river for fish. The reason they're so good at hunting prey is because they're one of, if not the most intelligent creatures on this planet. In fact, they have the same IQ as an average 15 or 16 year old teen. Now, orcas eat pretty much every single aquatic animal there is. And even that's not enough because they have moose as their diet and if you don't know moose they're super big that sounded a little wrong anyways if you're a predator you will become prey once you're next to an orca orcas around south africa have made great white sharks their prey these sharks are so traumatized by orcas that if they spot them in their hunting ground they'll abandon it for a whole year but that is if the shark gets to survive in the first place because what orcas do is they catch up to them they flip them backwards to immobilize them which pretty much just paralyzes them and then they just start eating its guts that's why they have PTSD and that goes for pretty much every single oceanic animal. These orcas just bully them for fun. They give most of these animals PTSD. I mean, they've even been spotted punting seals up to 80 feet in the air, probably just for fun, for a sport. They're pretty intelligent in how they go about attacking prey. In Arctic regions, they come together and create big waves that push the mammal off of the iceberg. Now, knowing that they do all this, it is odd that they've never attacked a human ever in the wild. Especially since I doubt they're scared of us considering the animals that they usually hunt for. Although there have been cases of them almost sinking down boats, but that's more of them just being curious. I mean, it wouldn't require much work for them to just take one of us down. I just don't think that they see us as a good food source. And if anything, they're just super fascinated about us. Orcas have many emotions, just like elephants. We know they do some cruel things, but they're also kind of sweet. One orca in particular carried around her dead cow for 17 days out of grief. So they do have emotions, they do care for things, they're not completely ruthless. Orcas have helped to aid humans in the past. There's been a case where there was a shark trying to attack a human and these orcas came to the rescue. And like I said earlier, I do not think orcas see us as a very nutritious meal like all their other animals that they hunt for. Orcas really just said that we aren't worth it, we have just too many boner bones. We have too many bones i mean for now humans are safe they literally go around swimming with orcas and they haven't done anything to them for now that is that can all change in the future so i would not risk it we don't want to be generationally traumatized like humpback whales are because of orcas but what's funny is humpback whales are actually starting to fight back they're being petty and i love it so let's talk about it so these black air forces separate the young or weak whale from its pod and then hunt it down and chase it into exhaustion kind of like wolves in a way which is why humpbacks stand up to the orcas by mobbing them. They have so much hatred for orcas that if they see them hunting, they will go and interfere with their hunts to prevent them from eating. I mean, I would too, considering what orcas do to the whales, which is just chase them into exhaustion and then just eat their tongue and then let them live like that. Which is why I'm glad orcas haven't decided to attack humans yet. But it's also possible that they could start to mess with us as a sport like they do with other animals. I mean, they'll straight up launch seals high up in the air until the skin falls off or their guts just start flying out everywhere. Sometimes they don't even eat it, which is why we say that it is just a sport for them. Just like how they'll just straight up slap stingrays to death for no reason, just for fun. I wasn't lying when I said that they're the bullies of the ocean. It gets to a point where they will beat other animals so bad to a point where they can't fight back and then send their babies to handle their light work. This is the equivalent of Batman crippling a hooligan and then getting Robin to get his licks in. Orcas do this with penguins, turtles, and animals as big as stellar sea lions. And if you don't know stellar sea lions, they're built like a whole fridge. They do this to teach the next generation of orcas how to hunt, but once they're done torturing those animals, they'll just let them be. But sometimes they leave them so injured, I think I'd rather be finished at that point. Now this doesn't mean that they're entirely, completely evil, this just happens naturally. But they're not dangerous to us, right? Remember what I said about them pushing around ships? Well, they're starting to bully ships a lot more. Makes me think they might be sick of our ship. Back in 2020, three orcas spent two hours just ramming into a boat constantly. It got to a point where the couple on the boat had to be rescued. And there's more cases with them doing this with more and more ships. But orcas are fascinated with us. They're not trying to eat us or hurt us in any way. This is just them being playful, but I'm not trying to play these games with them. You best believe I'm not going to be stepping foot into that ocean if they're going to be playing games like that. I'm not going to lie, if these black air forces listen to any type of music, it's definitely young boy. They're menaces, but at least they're not dolphins. Well, they are dolphins, actually. Number two. Now we got leopard seals. They can weigh as much as 780 pounds and can reach lengths of up to 12 feet long. I'm talking about leopard seals. They're very capable of eating us and they eat animals that are larger than us. They normally eat seals, but occasionally they like to eat penguins, which are roughly the same shape as us. 
Leopard seals can also be seen as cruel as they like to catch their prey and then let them run away again and then catch them again for fun. So they're pretty intelligent creatures, why don't they attack us? Well there is one case that not many people know about but back in 2003 one of these leopard seals actually killed a human being. Basically what this leopard seal did was drag the human all the way deep underwater and she suffocated. They brought her body back up but she didn't make it. It's interesting, this is the only known fatality ever caused by a leopard seal to a human ever recorded. My theory for this case is that the leopard seal was just curious. It just wanted to play with the human because they rarely see humans at all. It didn't really eat her so I'm assuming it was just playful and didn't know that she was gonna drown by getting dragged all the way to the bottom of the ocean. They're curious, but they also seem to want to help humans just like orcas. They've been seen giving dead penguins to humans almost to feed them. Almost like they want to form some type of relationship. And believe me, they are very capable of eating a bunch of humans. If they wanted to, there would be way more fatalities. But the fact that there isn't shows they're just not interested in us like that. I don't know if I should take that as an insult now that I think about it. Number one, now we got wolves. They are top tier predators whose stamina helps them out a lot in catching their prey. Humans have domesticated them around 130,000 years ago, which now led to having dogs. Now, there have been instances where wolves have attacked humans, but the number is relatively low, and some were due to certain circumstances. But naturally, they tend to leave humans alone because they're shy animals. I think they're just not interested in us enough with to want to eat unless they're absolutely starving. Since they have deers, which would be easier to run alive and has a lot more meat than us. Also, we probably don't get seen a lot by them, so to them, we look unusual and they may feel intimidated. So just keep your distance and they won't come near you. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed, leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.